buttons are on the back? Hey there everybody, Phil here for Android Central, and yes, it is the LG G2. So we saw this a few weeks ago in New York, and now we've got it here. 5.2 inch 1080p display, it's full HD IPS they call it, so cool. You'll notice no buttons, and I love this. Double tap it to turn it on, double tap it to turn it off. I love this feature, it's so much fun, it's ridiculous. Um, I'm just gonna keep doing it all day. No, we'll look at the rest of the phone, how about that? So, uh, relatively thin device, they haven't gone super thin, you've got the uh, SIM card door here there on the left hand side, nothing on the other side. Down at the bottom you've got stereo speakers, those look kind of nice actually, uh, micro USB and the headphone jack, and you'll notice, yeah, no power button yet, because there it is, it's on the back! with the volume buttons this takes some getting used to guys here's a nice close look so you can uh, get a better shot of it and yeah volume up volume down and power in the middle so here's how it works i mean they say look it's a large-ish phone we're gonna move everything to the back because that's where your fingers naturally rest anyway right so there it is on the power button and you're just turning it on and off um, now you can also do other things with the volume uh, buttons volume up if you hold it down is supposed to launch the uh, Q-Memo app, and it vibrates in my hand here, but the app's not quite launching. I'm willing to bet this isn't finished software. Hold down volume down, though, and it does launch the camera app. And once the camera app is launched, you can use the volume buttons to activate the shutter. So that's kind of cool. Nicely done by LG there. So as long as we get it powered up, let's take a look at the software here. And you get a whole bunch of pop-ups when you uh, first start up this thing. Now watch how fast this UI is. This is a Snapdragon 800, guys. It's one of the first Snapdragon 800 uh, devices we've seen. 2.26 gigahertz quad core if you really worry about the specs. You'll notice the uh, menu here, the uh, notification options are really kind of busy, but you've got your Q slide and your uh, your quick apps up there at the top. Notice the settings button there on the uh, sound bar. I keep hitting that trying to get to the settings, but you gotta hit that one below it. And here's where you get to the settings menu. And a lot like another Korean company has done, they've uh, split it up into four sections here. And you know, you got those weird uh, buttons that LG uses, and that's fine whole bunch of stuff to go through here uh and one of the big specs they're talking about is the auto audio quality and the addition of the vienna boys choir for ringtones so i won't make you listen to them all right now um what else we got a whole bunch of stuff under display now you notice the buttons down here right they're on screen buttons but you don't actually have a multitasking button we've talked about this before that is a menu button okay you can get right back into the system settings from it but you can change that with this front touch buttons section and so you can actually get a you know a fourth button on there if you want and you can put one of the uh the q slide button is what you can do and then you can rearrange them that's kind of neat i guess um if you don't want to use their weird slide aside multitasking and i say weird have to you know actually give it a shot yet you don't have to we'll go through that in a minute uh as long as we're here let's look at the software android 4.2.2 that's cool i would you know anticipate a 4.3 uh, update at some point no, I was talking about the slide aside, right? So this is their their version of multitasking. So you launch some apps, and then you use three fingers to uh, shove them over to the side, and then it kind of pauses them, and they're just there, and then you can get them back, okay? So you see that's actually what we just did with that. If you turn it off, you will then get the option to have a normal uh, just multitasking, right? So we turn it off, and flying back through here, let's, in fact, launch a couple apps. We'll launch maps, and how about YouTube? Everything's freaking out because it's the very first time they've run, and that's fine. So come on, come on, hold it down, hold it down, and you get your traditional multitasking. So it's there. Now, I don't even know what version of the phone this is, but the U.S. phones might well work a little different in that respect. We will see. Uh, but this is not one of the U.S. carrier versions, okay? So we'll turn that back on, and let's see what else we want to play with. How about, oh, I tell you what. Let's zoom back out for a second and bring in some other siblings, right? So here is the original LG Optimus G. I guess now it's just called the LG G because uh, they dropped the Optimus name. So you can see how much bigger this one is. You know, we're up to 5.2 inches now. The original Optimus G, oh, sorry, just the G, had this cool glass back, right? Kind of like the Nexus 4. In fact, that's you know, the exact same thing. We're back to plastic now. I like the glass, I think. The plastic's okay. In fact, speaking of the Nexus 4, you know, made by LG, here it is. So you can see the, uh, the similarities. I've heard a few people say that the front of the uh, G2 looks a lot like the G4, or the Nexus 4. Um, I don't know. Come on, turn off, double tap off, double tap off. There we go. So I don't know. I mean, it's a lot smaller. You can see the size difference, you know, 4.7 versus uh, 
versus five inches is a big difference there. So here's the big daddy, right? Here's the LG Optimus G Pro. Uh, this came out in the spring. We got our first look at it in Barcelona. You can really see the size different there. So, you know, we're up from 5.2 to, I, I forget what it was, like six feet tall or something like that. <laughs> it was huge. So there you go, a new look at the uh, brand new LG G2 and the weird back camera and buttons and all that good stuff. See you later.